Hello everyone. I am Madhuranga Sirivardha, Senior Software Engineer from WSO2 Identity Server Team. In this screencast, I am going to show you how to configure single sign-on to your applications using WSO2 Identity Cloud. Here is a diagram to give you an overall picture of what we are trying to set up. WSO2 Identity Cloud supports single sign-on for applications that can ha handle standard single sign-on protocol and applications that does not support standard single sign-on protocol. For well-known applications that support the standard single sign-on protocol, we have created templates to configure single sign-on. And for other applications that support standard single sign-on protocol, you can use row configurations. I will show you how to configure a templated application as well as application with row configurations. First, we are going to configure single sign-on for Salesforce. For this, we need to log into WSO2 Identity Cloud admin portal. And then, download IDP metadata file from here. Then, log into Salesforce and go to single sign-on settings page. And then enable SAML from here and upload the IDP metadata file we have downloaded from Identity Cloud from here. Now save these configurations and download the service provider metadata from here. For the single sign-on to work, Salesforce needs user to be created in the Salesforce. Here I have added John Smith user to Salesforce with chatter free user profile. Finally, go to my domain page and edit authentication configuration section and select the identity provider we have created for the authentication service. Now, go back to the Identity Cloud and add the application. Select Custom Application Type and enter the application name. In the next page, select Agent as the App Type and SAML to web bases so as the security protocol. Then select upload SAML metadata file and upload the service provider metadata we have downloaded from sales source. All the configurations other than the access URL will be populated from the metadata we have already uploaded. Use the URL link issuer for the access URL and save the configuration. That's all we need to do in Identity Cloud side to enable single sign on for Salesforce. Now let's log into user portal. and try the configurations we have added.
you can see the application we have configured from the admin body in here. So when I click the application, I am sent to the Salesforce and automatically logged in. Now let's configure a templated application. For this, I am using AWS. First, go to AWS console and from the services page, search and go to IAM page. From there, go to Identity Providers page and click Create Provider. Then, choose Samuel as the provider type and enter a provider name. And then, choose the IDP metadata file we have already downloaded and click Next Step. Finally, click the create button and the identity provider will be created. Now we need to create a role. For this, go to roles page and click create new role. Then from the select role type page, select Role for Identity Provider Access and select Grant Web Single Sign-On Access for Service Providers. Then select the Service Provider we have already created and click Next Step. From the Verify Role Trust page, verify the configuration and click Next Step. From Attach Policy page, select Administrator Access and click Next Step. Then enter a role name and a description. And click Create Role. That's all we need to do from the AWS side. Now, open claim config XML file in on-premise user store agent. And add the highlighted config there. You can use any valid attribute ID in your local LDAP. Here, I have used country as the attribute ID. Now get the ARN values of role and identity provider we have created and append them using a comma. Now we need to Add this value as the country claim in the elder. Now, go to Identity Cloud Admin Portal and add another application. This time, select AWS and enter an application name. Now, all we need to do is add the display name.
now let's log into this portal again and see the configurations we have done now you can see the aws configuration also from here so let's click on that and see how it logins so as you can see the user is successfully logged into aws console using wso2 identity cloud as the identity provider hope it's useful if you have further queries please contact us through cloud mailing list thank you